Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to explain how much money I've been making in my first week doing Uber. So I've been doing Uber for the past week and for me, it seems pretty natural and easy because I was doing Amazon Flex already, which is also another delivery job. But Uber is, in my opinion, much easier. Picking up food, delivering it to the customer, and sometimes they come to you. You don't even have to come to them. It's just overall a lot easier as a delivery job. So, and also th this is just a gig work that I'm doing on the side. It's not my full-time job. I already have a nine to five job that I do full-time, but Uber Eats right now is something that I, I was doing for the past week um, as a part-time gig, just to make some money on the side. And as you can see here, November 8th to, no, to November 15th, I made $477 in one week, which is pretty good for a side job, for a side hustle, you know? So the stats here, I was online 26 hours and 12 minutes, and I was active for 15 hours and one minute. So you can go online on the Uber Eats app, but that doesn't mean that you're actively like actually delivering things so active the time that i'm actually active delivering things was about 15 hours and i made 477 dollars um i think i did the math and that came out to be about 30 dollars um an hour around there which is really good for a side job for a side hustle it's really nice but as you can see the breakdown right here, the net fare is $232.69 and the tips was $244.31, adding up to a total of $477. As you can see right here, the money that I'm making is mostly coming from tips. It's not even, most of the money that I'm making from Uber Eats isn't even coming from the base pay from Uber Eats. It's actually coming from tips from the customer so the money that I'm making from Uber Eats it's very highly dependent on how well the customers tip me if they don't tip me well I'm not gonna make good money if they tip me very well I'm gonna make some pretty good money and luckily I live in an area where generally speaking people tip pretty well um, and as you see right here it's reflected in my earnings most of the money that I'm making comes from tips from the customers over half so I'm very thankful that I live in an area where I can get some really nice tips so I am gonna keep on doing this because the difficulty of the work is very low it's very easy and I live in an area where people tip well so I, I make some pretty good money doing this so let me show you some examples of the deliveries I've done so Sunday, November 14th, this delivery was 22 minutes and 14 seconds, 4.1 miles. I made $10.81, $5.70 from the tip, and $2 uh, surge. So sometimes during the day, during busy hours, you'll get a surge pay, which is like extra money, like an extra bonus because it's busy or something, whatever. Um... This delivery right here, eleven dollars and nineteen cents. It took twenty-six minutes and three seconds, six miles. The tip was three dollars and eighty-one cents, and there was a two hundred two dollars and fifty cents surge. What else? So here's some more. Thirteen dollars and eighty-three cents. The delivery took thirty-three minutes and fifty-two seconds. 10.4 miles, $6.51 in tip, and $2.50 surge. Next one, $15.86. It took 28 minutes and 14 seconds, 10.4 miles, $6.03 tip, a $1 surge, $18.50. The delivery took 37 minutes 
and 34 seconds, 7.6 miles, $9.12 tip, and a $1 surge. And lastly, this one was really good. Look at this, $28.79. The delivery was only 30 minutes and 37 seconds, 8.1 miles, $21.62 in tip. Wow, that's crazy. $21.62 tip. That's a really big tip. And a $1 surge. So, yeah, it's been going well. Um, my first week went really well. And it's very dependent on tip, but around my area, people tip really well. As you can see in the last one, they tipped over like 20 bucks for a delivery that only took like 30 minutes. Most of my deliveries take around half an hour. And honestly, that's a pretty good time because let's say that I need to take a break. If I was working, you know, for several hours at a time, it's hard for me to really stop and do whatever I need to do and then get back to work. But if I'm only doing 30 minutes at a time for the delivery, it's very easy to kind of stop and go, you know? If I do just want to sit back and relax or if there's something that I need to check or whatever, or if I'm feeling hungry and I want to take a lunch break, I can just stop after those 30 minutes um, and then do whatever I need to do. And then whenever I feel like it, I could continue delivering and making more deliveries. It's a very flexible job. Um, I can... I can work or I can just not work as I please. It's really nice. And the money's no joke either. I mean, it's pretty good money, at least in my area. Like I said, it's very dependent on the tips. If you live in an area where the tips are not high, then that's unfortunate. But I'm lucky and I'm going to keep doing this. This is a good way to make some side money for me. And... I'm thinking of using this money to add to my portfolio or maybe I'll just buy some new stuff that I want. We'll see. But yeah, that's my you know, that's my experience in the first week of doing Uber Eats for the first time and it's been very positive. Um I like it a lot. All right, I just want to share this with you guys, share with you guys uh my earnings from my first week doing Uber Eats. And I might make more videos like this because I'm going to keep on doing Uber Eats in the future. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.